Well, nothing, not a lot really exciting happened today. Just got some more, some more sanding and sealing done. Also, some more painting done. <laughs> shoes are looking all right. It looks too terrible. <laughs> That's looking pretty special. I'll we'll start painting that uh, gold tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, here we have the the head with the the ears as a bit of a dummy run. Told you they're going to be enormous. <laughs> so, it actually, once you get it on the head, it's actually not horribly unbalanced. I'll put it on, see what you think of it. That's the only way I can see it myself, so. <laughs> So yeah, it does, it does want to keep sort of lifting up, but I think once I get a couple of straps in there, it'll be fine. It doesn't doesn't feel exceptionally heavy or bulky on the head. So, so that's about where I want them. I'll just tentatively put them on with mask, uh, duct tape and put some, some bolts to, to stick them on. These are, of course, these are, there's a metal plate running running up and down the length of the ear and I've got some more sheeting to put a metal plate on the inside of the of the, of the head to uh, actually have a hard point to mount the bolts on so yeah, coming along alright, well here we have the, the metal plate to uh, attach the ears with um, good tip for hot glue is get yourself some of these disposable cotton gloves they really, really prevent yourself from burning, from prevent, uh, help you stop burning yourself. I've learned that the hard way. <laughs> Got myself some nasty burns from hot glue, but yeah, these really good. They're usually pretty cheap. You usually get a pack of ten for like twenty, thirty dollars. Um, they don't uh, reduce your dexterity too much. But yeah, fantastic for hot gluing because you just you can't really burn yourself through these. They're really, really good. Good for holding down things like metal plates while they dry, and you're not going to burn yourself. Yeah, so, okay. alrighty, I'm just uh, finalising the ear position. That looks. Fortunately, I won't be able to. I don't think I'll be able to achieve the uh, the uh, sort of the stay, same sort of angle as on the toy. I just I just haven't really planned for it properly. Oh, what I've done is I've put a foam pad in between the ear and the skull and that will allow me to adjust the angle to a certain extent and we'll just take a bit of strain off the whole connection mm. Mm. I could even pack it out some more if I really wanted to choose some angle but more just trying to get them about the same level I need to lift this one up a bit it seems it's dropped a bit yeah, it's gonna be pretty big. Cool, look at that. <laughs> wow. I think I may have uh, bitten off a little bit more than I could chew, but we can't say it won't be epic. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Well there are the two two uh screw points I'm gonna use. Anyway, oh here we are back with the ears attached. Um, managed to get it as perfect as I really could. It's a bit of a compromise between getting the angle identical coming off the head and actually, oh, now it's become quite heavy, <laughs> and actually mounting them in identical places. 
this one's actually mounted just a little bit lower and at a more uh, aggressive angle. Um, I think in a real world situation no one will notice. It's uh, more important that the uh, ears are mostly at the same angle. Um, they're not currently super perfect. Um, hmm. I'm not sure whether I'll be bothered. I might see how I feel about it tomorrow. I don't really want to uh, remount the plates because this is how it's attached with the uh, aluminium plates on the inside. If I wanted to remount it here I'd have to basically take one of these off, swap it, flip it around and drill new holes. It would be doable but I don't know whether I can really be bothered to be honest. It's put it on the bench. It's uh, not terribly asymmetrical. I'll put it on here. interesting. I'm definitely going to have to put some really secure straps on it because if I tilt my head down a certain amount um, it starts to, <laughs> to carry away on itself. So yeah I'll definitely have to get some, put some really secure straps in it perhaps attach it to the same metal plates. But yeah. But uh, I'm not unhappy with it so far. I think for a first attempt and considering I did not really, <laughs> I did not really plan how to attach the ears, it's not a terrible solution. Just, it looks a little bad there because the mask, the bottom of the mask, is not actually flat. Yeah. Anyway, I'll catch you later.